Well, good morning. We're about to wrap up the first leg of our trip visiting some family. And uh, I was uh, looking out the window this morning and just uh, reminded of how beautiful this area is that we've been staying in here in Whitefish, Montana. And I uh, thought I would just share a passage that came to mind. It's actually probably a pretty obvious passage, uh, but I want to read it to you. And I don't want to say a whole lot because I just sort of want to let God's own creation uh, kind of be its own commentary. But it's from Psalm uh, 19, verses uh, 1 through 3, where it says, The heavens are telling, or they declare the glory of God, and their expanse is declaring the work of his hands. Day to day pours, pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words. Their voice is not heard. And um, my wife and I had been talking a little bit uh, this week as we were looking around and driving around. And, of course, uh, you know, here in near Whitefish, you're right near Glacier uh, National Park. And we went on the west side and did some hiking and just watched the mountains and stuff. And um, actually, if you look up my Instagram, uh, just look up Brian Bachochin, you'll see uh, some of the pictures that we've posted. Or if you follow me on Facebook or something, I've posted a few pictures when I've had some uh, some Internet access, which has been a little spotty. But... I've tried to get a few things posted there, and uh, really, a photo may be worth a thousand words, but a picture may be worth a thousand words, but it really um, doesn't quite add up when you consider, uh, when you're standing in the midst of it. It's just wonderful, it's beautiful, and it truly does declare uh, the beauty, the glory, the creativity of God. And, uh, and as we were hiking, or as we were just coming out here in the morning and just spending time listening to the, uh, the birds, and you can sometimes hear uh, some of the... Uh, foxes uh, barking in the background, and you hear all kinds of these wonderful sounds. Uh, it's just, it just reminds you of just the beauty of nature and what God has made. And so, like David, it's just easy to recognize this as we look either whether it's here and uh, you know, in, in uh, you know, in, in glacier or you know that kind of thing, or whether it's looking out into the stars and seeing uh, the heavens declaring the glory of God and. And, um, and David's sense of, you know, who am I that you'd be mindful of me in the midst of all of this? But yet you are, you know. Well, my wife and I, again, were talking as we were hiking and looking around and, and um, just experiencing some of this. Uh, we were reminded that this is the fallen version. You know, this is, this is the, the world after the fall. This is after sin has entered and corruption has entered as the devil is... Uh, experiencing a certain measure of freedom to tear down that which is beautiful and good. And as we look at this and we experience just the grandeur and the glory and the beauty of it, we're reminded that there's a world, a new heavens and a new earth to come uh, that won't be tainted by anything. And so, you know, for the believer, we have this wonderful experience of what God has created now. We can enjoy it. We can worship him in in, uh, in, uh, in the beauty of his holiness and, and in the, some of the expression of that as we look at his creation. But we can also know that there is still a day coming when we'll see something that is even more beautiful, far more beautiful. Paul would describe heaven and say, you know, eye has not seen or ear has not heard what God has prepared for those who love him. You know, he would say it's unlawful to describe those things that he saw. John, no doubt, struggled to describe some of the things that he saw as he stood before the throne uh, and saw the Lamb. And, and it's just, uh, and that's heaven and, of course, the new earth that's coming as well. Gosh, there's so much to look forward to, and there's such beauty in what we see now, we can only imagine what is to be seen in the days to come. And so, in the meantime, we just acknowledge it, we recognize it, we attribute it to God, and we glorify Him for His gracious generosity in letting us live in such a place as beautiful and glorious as this, and also, again, with the anticipation that there's still more to come. And so, again, I don't want to say a whole lot, just want to sort of, and as I, after I pray, I'm going to go ahead and just sort of let the camera go here around and give you another view, a little bit more of a view, and uh, I've actually already saved some of the stuff and I'm using, I'm using a little bit of it as my background on my phone and all that kind of stuff, but who knows, maybe you'll want to do a, a screenshot and save some of it for the background on your computer or something. It is just wonderful and beautiful and breathtaking. But let me pray and just thank the Lord for what he's given us here. And, um, and uh, it's easy for me to be thankful for this place I'm kind of experiencing right now with my family, um, but um, it may not be so easy for you, so that's why I'll share some of it. Uh, you may not be in quite the place that we've been gifted to be in right now, but just want to share it with you as best I can. So let me pray and um, thank the Lord for this. Father, we're so grateful for your goodness, your grace, your gracious, generous heart and hand as you've created this wonderful, beautiful place for us to live in and to experience, even if it's just from time to time, to catch a glimpse of your creative glory. 
We thank you, Lord, that on the one hand, you have made your glory known in your general revelation as we consider the creation and see the work of your fingers and recognize just how uh, glorious you are in, uh, in, in the beauty of your creation. We thank you that even beyond that, you've also given us uh, the more specific revelation of your Son and the knowledge that in him we have life and life eternal. And that, Father, we can experience what we do now and appreciate the beauty and glory, but we can also live in the, the regular daily anticipation and expectation that we'll see you and we'll see the new heavens and new earth and all of its untainted glory one day. Thank you for this beautiful hope and thank you for the beautiful generosity you've shown us now in this. And we pray that, Father, every day we would live in grateful thanksgiving for all that you've done, all that you continue to do, and all that is yet to come. We love you, we praise you, and bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.